I'm ingesting a number of CSV reports into MySQL with my pipeline. Now, most of the reports are in this very regular format, very familiar uh, kind of CSV data. But there are a few that uh, need some special handling. Uh, this one, for example, has this kind of master line here with detail records. And as you're reading the report here, it's clear to see that uh, this settlement ID and uh, dates apply to all of these records. And similarly, uh, this uh, data here applies to all of these records. But of course, as we insert them into the database, uh, we'll have to uh, handle that in the pipeline. In addition here, we have these date stamps uh, with UTC on the end, and MySQL doesn't like uh, having UTC on the end of the timestamp. So we'll have to handle those as well. So this is what I did. I used this stream selector to uh, separate out these uh, reports for special handling. And then uh, I use this expression evaluator. The first thing I do is uh, I fix up those dates. Now, the easiest way to handle these, we just want to cut the UTC off the end. And this is a very rigid format. We always know how many characters there are going to be here. So we simply say use substring to take those first 19 characters. Now, the other thing we do here is that we use one of the fields in the report as a key field. So what we're saying here is that in this report, uh, if settlement ID is set, then we know it's this kind of master row. And similarly over here, if uh, line item ID is set, then we know it's the kind of master row for this report. So once we set that key field, we can use it in a bit of groovy code. And this is where we get into the ultimate flexibility in StreamSets Data Collector. We can operate on the records as they're flowing through the pipeline with custom business logic. And here what we're saying is that uh, if we have some records in this batch, always a good test because we're going to look at the, uh, the first record in the, uh, in the batch, then the key field, is, we set that from that attribute. Okay, so we're always going to know what that key field is because we, we set it in the previous um, uh, evaluator. And then we loop through the records and we say, if the record contains uh, that key field, then, um, and, there's, and there is something there, okay? So if it's in the map and it's uh, set to a value, then uh, we know that that's the full record that we're going to work with. And then we write that record to uh, the output and we loop round. And then subsequent times for those detail records, this if test will fail. So we'll go into this branch and we'll say, okay, for each value, if there's nothing there, okay, this is what this, this little expression here is saying, if there's not a value uh, after we trim any blank space off it, then we say, that the value for that particular key is the value for the full record. So we're copying, it's easier to visualize it here, we're copying all of these values down into those detail records. Okay, so the easiest way is to show you, and we can do that if we go to over here, we'll change it from reading everything to just reading this particular uh, dispersed amount one, and then we'll have a look at a preview. So in the preview, we can see that uh, when we get to here, we've got that uh, settlement ID. This is the master record. And then we see all these detail ones. They've got nulls for those four, first five fields. So we can go down here and then around about record number six, there's another master record and so on. And then we can see, if we click there, we can see that, uh, scroll to the top, uh, we can see that we've changed those uh, timestamps, we've cut the UTC off the end. And if we look in here, we should be able to see that we set the key field to settlement ID. So that's going to be uh, this field here. And then we can see the effect of the groovy code, so that the uh, master records unchanged, but all of these details have their empty uh, fields filled in from the master. So that's exactly what we want. So here again, this is the second master record, 
and then the second set have them all copied uh, down.